बिसमान रहीम डियर स्टूडेंट्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम मी हुमेरा अनीस फिज़िक्स टीचर आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू विल बी फाइन यू हैव वॉच द वीडियो ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन चैप्टर नंबर वन नाउ वी स्टार्ट द रिटर्न वर्क ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर वन फर्स्ट यू विल मेंटेन योर इंडेक्स पेज यू हैव अ रजिस्टर फॉर रिटर्न वर्क रजिस्टर हैज़ इंडेक्स कॉलम्स According to your syllabus, you will complete your index. Now we start question number one of chapter number one, introduction. Question number one, define physics and its branches. Physics, the word physics comes from a Greek word physikos, meaning natural. the branch of science which deals with the interaction of matter and energy list of next heading branches of physics main branches of physics are given below number 1 mechanics it deals with the motion of objects with or without reference of force number 2 electricity it is concerned with the phenomena and effects related to electric charge number 3 electromagnetism it deals with observations principles laws and methods that relate electricity and magnetism number 4 solid state physics it is concerned with the structure and properties of solid materials number 5 atomic physics it is concerned with the structure and properties of atom branch number 6 nuclear physics this branch is concerned with the structure properties and reactions of the nuclei of atom number 7 plasma physics it is concerned with the properties of highly ionized atoms forming a mixture of bare nuclei nucleus without electrons and electrons number 8 biophysics it is concerned with the applications of physical methods and explanation to biophysical systems and structures number 9 astrophysics it is concerns with the study of the physics of astronomical bodies full stop now question number 2 write down the importance of physics in daily, daily life heading importance of physics the importance of physics in daily life are as follows number 1 we use several electrical appliances in our homes they all use electric power number 2 engines of the vehicles are manufactured on the principles of thermodynamics number 3 laser technology is widely used in defense system metallurgy medical science and astronomy which has its roots in atomic physics number 4 many countries including pakistan utilize nuclear energy to produce electric power number 5 radar technology is based on the reflection and detection of electromagnetic wave question number 3 discuss the scientific methods and its steps heading scientific method a specific method used to search truth and reality is called scientific methods steps of scientific method the scientific method includes the following steps number 1 observation it is the procedures of collecting facts number 2 hypothesis on the basis of data collected by observation we can develop hypothesis number 3 experiment 
Experiment is an organized method which is used to test the truth of hypothesis. Number fourth, theory. After the successful verification of an assumption and with the concept experimentation, it becomes a theory. Number fifth, prediction. After the careful analysis of theory, we can make predictions about certain unknown aspects of nature. Number six, law. The law is a statement regarding the behavior which explains the observations and experiments of the past and can predict about the other aspects of nature. Okay. Now, observation, hypothesis, experiment, theory, prediction and law. These are the steps of scientific methods. Question number four. Define error, types of error and accuracy. Error. First heading error. The difference between measured and actual value is called error. Second heading types of error. There are three types of error. Number one, personal error, number two, systematic error, and number three, random error. Then we define personal error. Personal error heading, then this error arises due to the tendency of a person who takes reading in favor of a particular reading. Number two, systematic error. This error arises due to a fault in the measuring instrument. This is called zero error of the instrument. Number third, random error. Random error arises due to the external conditions which are at a certain time beyond the control of experimenter. For example, change in temperature, humidity and voltage, etc. Next heading, Accuracy. The measurement of the quantities involved in a phenomena are as close to the real values as possible. Now question number 5. Write down the main contributions of Muslim scientists in the field of physics. The main contributions of Muslim scientists in the field of physics are given below. So number one scientist is Abu Ali Hassan Ibn al -Hatham. The main contribution of Ibn al are number one, he was a great scholar of physics, mathematics, engineering, astronomy, and medicines. Number two, he wrote many books on various subjects. His book on optics, Kitab al Manazir, gained great reputations among scholars. Number two, he discovered the nature of light and told that it is a kind of energy. Number four, he gave formal definition of ray of light. Number five, he invented pinhole cam camera and with this he obtained an image of sun eclipse. Number six, he gave two laws of reflection and carried out research on the formation of image by spherical mirrors. Second scientist is Jakub Ibn Ishaq Al Kindi. The main contribution of Al Kindi are number one, he produced several research monographs on metros, specific gravities, and on tides. Number two, he explained musical notes on scientific ground and discovered a method to Express the notes in the terms of frequency and used it to fix the order of various notes according to their frequency. Number three, he worked in dramatic optics, which was translated in Latin. Number four, he also discussed the nature of sound. Number third scientist is Abu Rehan Muhammad bin Ahmad al-Biruni. 
द मेन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ अल बैरूनी आर नंबर वन ही मेजर द सर्कम फ्रेंस ऑफ अर्थ नंबर टू ही डिस्कस द मूवमेंट ऑफ द सन एंड द मून द फेसिस ऑफ द मून एंड ऑल्सो द मूवमेंट ऑफ द प्लानट नॉन इन दो स्टेज नंबर थ्री ही गेव द मैथड्स ऑफ डिटरमाइनिंग द लॉन्गिट्यूड एंड लेटिट्यूड ऑफ अ प्लेस नंबर फोर ही फाउंड डेंसिटीज ऑफ वेरियस मैटर्स नंबर फिफ्थ He rejected the notion that Earth was a stationary body in the universe, but it floats in space. Scientist number four, Dr. Abdul Salam. The main contribution of Dr. Abdul Salam are number one, he was awarded Nobel Prize in Physics in 1979 for his work on grand unification theory, GUT. Number two, he established International Center for Theoretical Physics at Rest, Italy, where scientists from the developing countries are provided opportunities to augment their research work. Number three, he made some laboratories for research work in atomic physics. Number fifth, scientist and Dr. Abdul Qadir Khan. The main contribution of Dr. Abdul Qadir Khan are number one, he worked as an expert at Urenco Enrichment Plant in Holland as a joint venture of the government of Holland. Number two, he contributed in making Pakistan a nuclear state. Number three, he has been awarded Hilary Imtiaz by the government of Pakistan. Number four. He established an institute of nuclear physics at Chashma. The question answers of chapter number 1 has completed. Thank you.